All right, 2.2. These are the problems that people looked like they had questions on. Number seven, it said, what's the limit of x as x approaches 21? Well, as you get close, x gets closer and closer to 21, the, the, the value of x approaches 21. This one kind of makes sense. y equals x is a line, and as you get closer to 12 in the x direction, the y height also gets closer to 12 from either way. Number nine, it says use the limit theorem to show that as you get closer to here that this is 12 is actually the limit. Well, the limit theorem says if you take the limit 12 and subtract the this, in absolute value and show that this goes to zero and then this would be the limit so you're supposed to show that it, you can keep picking numbers closer to four and this will get keep getting closer to zero so they we kind of verify that with the calculator we put in let so I'll put this function in to y1 which is 3x and then I'll uh, actually I'll, I'll put in this whole thing which is math number absolute value of 12 minus 3x cl uh, close parenthesis and then we'll pick numbers closer and closer to four and see see that we can make this arbitrary close so second quit so if I put um, uh, do vars y variables function y1 uh, let's do actually let's do this second quit let's go uh, second table set and put it on ask enter and then go second table and then I'll put something close to 4 3.9 and that's 0.3 let's get closer let's do 3.99 and that's getting 0.3 if I go 3.999 it becomes 0.003 so I could just keep adding more nines here and keep getting this closer and closer and closer to zero from the um, left side. Now I could do it from the po uh, positive side, 4.1, and we get 0.3, 4.01, get closer, 4.001, keep getting closer, and I could keep doing this and keep getting closer and closer. So. Therefore, from either side, I can keep putting in more zeros here, more nines on that, and keep getting this smaller and smaller, so I should be able to make it arbitrarily small by, um, by just picking the right number here so I can make it arbitrarily small, and so 12 must be the limit of this. And that's the reasoning that they wanted you to kind of describe. Okay, 13, they want us to do pretty much the same thing on this. So we'd have 0 minus x squared as uh, the limit of x squared as x approaches 0. And so if we typed that into y1, uh, 0 minus x squared, absolute value of zero zero minus x squared delete that and quit and then I'll go to table and now I don't want these numbers in there I want to get close to zero so point one point oh one point oh oh one and I'm getting now and we got one millionth and 
one hundredth, one ten thousandth, one millionth. So if I each time I add a decimal place, I get a hundred times smaller. So I should be able to make it arbitrarily small coming from the positive side. And if we came from the negative side, point minus point one, negative point zero one, negative point zero zero one. And if I wrote that stuff down, that would be verification that I could make it arbitrarily small, which is what they wanted me to show. Okay. So now let's go to 42. The 42, we're supposed to investigate the limit of the absolute value of x to 1 over x as x approaches 0 for both from the positive and negative side. So I'll type that into here. Absolute value of x to the a parenthesis uh, 1 divided by x close parenthesis and now I'll go to the second table I'll just clear these oh and this is we're approaching from 0 so what do we get happening here if we put in point 1 we get e to the negative 10 which is 1 10 millionth no 10 billionth and then 0.01, this calculator is rounding off to zero, so it's getting closer and closer to zero. If I come in from the negative side, it goes to 1 to e10, which is 1 million, uh, ten, 1 10 billion, and then this, it's just showing error, so this gets too big. So from the negative side, as we get closer and closer to zero, it's going to positive uh, to yeah positive infinity. So from the negative side, from the from the left limit, it's positive infinity, and the right limit is zero. So let's just graph this and see. Zoom six should be show it. So this side it goes to positive infinity on the left limit as we get close to zero. Can't see that one. Let's go zoom four. That'll be a little closer. So this side goes to infinity. This you can't really see it in there. We'd have to really go close. Let's go zoom in which is 2 and then press enter and we'll get a little closer look at it and you can't really see it in there uh, looks like it's getting lower and comes in does it look like it's gone well let's trace and we can see 9 times 10 to the negative 27 really close to 0 now it's getting bigger as we go out you can see this is point zero, uh, zero 0.03, and as we come in, it goes to e four, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and I said 8, negative 15, 27, negative 65, really, really small, almost 0. And then it goes undefined. Okay. Now, 54, we're supposed to sketch a graph that meets these criteria. So... As we approach 1 from the positive side, it's supposed to go to infinity. So I'll just put a line here at 1 and show it going to infinity. As we approach 1 from the negative side, it's supposed to go to 3. 1, 2, 3. Approach 1. Now, it could possibly be there, might not be there, but it's approaching 3. So I'll just come in straight. It could have been curved into this anyway, but that's, that's what I'll do. And then as we approach 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, from either side, because this is a limit, it goes to negative infinity. So this could just go down like this. 
and then come from negative infinity back up. And there's a kind of what these three limits are talking about. They just want to know if you can draw that something like that. Okay, 58. They say, look at this with the calculator, use numbers close to zero, and look at this one. So I'm going to go to y equal and um, clear, and we're going to put in um, parenthesis 12 to the x minus 1, close parenthesis, divided by parenthesis 4 to to the x minus 1, close parenthesis. And second table, I've already got numbers getting closer and closer to 0 from both sides. One side, it looks like it's about 1.1 1.79 and from the other side it's about 1.79 and so it looks like it's somewhere between 1.7935 and 1.5 if we went closer let's go 0 0.00001 1.7925 and negative point uh, zero, 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 0000005 that's equally amount off the other side this says it's somewhere between 1.7925 and 24 so I would have to say the limit is approximately 1.79245 somewhere in there probably 4 something okay that's what the wanted you to be able to do.